Hi lacrosse fans, welcome back to episode 7 of Lunchtime Lacrosse with your Philadelphia Wings. I'm Kyle Matisse and in today's episode we're going to go over face-offs. Face-offs are crucial in the game of lacrosse, whether you talk about field lacrosse or box lacrosse, because it's all about having possession. The team that has this ball more has more likelihood to score and ultimately win the game. The Philadelphia Wings have arguably the best face-off man in the world in Trevor Baptiste. Trevor Baptiste is going to take over the rest of this episode because I have no idea what I'm talking about. What's up guys, it's Trevor Baptiste. Really excited to be here for Lifetime Lacrosse and I got the main job today to teach you guys about face-offs. Uh, face-offs are obviously a pretty crucial part to lacrosse but also it's something that has a lot of technique. So I thought we'd break down the basics in this episode. We're gonna go over knee down stance, clamping, and also standing up. So stand up, stance, face off, and raking out of that and different things you can do. Let's do it. So first thing we're gonna go over is stance. Stance is extremely important for facing off because it's a fast event, right? Whenever you do a sprint or something that you wanna accelerate fast out of, how you start in your stance is gonna be really important for how you finish. So when I go down in my knee down stance, I hop down, I always make sure that my right knee's down, my left knee is as close to the line as I possibly can get it. I come down very, very light on my hands. You don't wanna to have too much weight in your hands because then you can't move your, your hands fast. So it'll be nice and light on your hands. I got moto grip, notice with my top hand. And my left hand is probably like about an elbow's length from the butt of my stick. Right about there is pretty good. Nice and light. Okay, so this is a really, really good stance. Um, and like I said, it's really important to have a great stance from when you're facing off. The most common move is clamping, and that's what I usually recommend doing if you're gonna go knee down. So when you clamp, you start out with that ball right in the center of your stick, and you always wanna come down the line when you clamp and get that ball in the throat of your stick. Notice while I do that, I punch my left hand to give myself leverage against my opponent to push him off. So you don't wanna keep your left hand backwards or even straight, you really want to punch this left hand, get down that line, get the ball on the throat of your stick. Okay. Then from here, getting the ball out, there's a couple things you can do. But I'm going to show you the pinch and pop really quickly because that's everyone's favorite move. Love to pinch and pop, run down the field and score. So you get here, start with that nice clamp. Now what you want to do is you want to push down with your right hand and pull up with your left hand. Notice how that bends my stick around the ball. Notice I'm keeping my head over the ball, keep my weight down on the ball when I do this. And that bends my head nice to control that ball. Then I'm gonna hop up on my feet. Then I'm gonna pull this ball out, pop it, and catch it. Notice when I pull it, I drag it towards my left foot to bring it around my opponent. Once you get the hang of that, you'll be able to pop the ball out in a lot of different directions. But it all starts with getting that initial plunge on the ball here, once I get here, I can basically go in any direction. I can go forward like I showed you. I can stand up. I can also go backwards, pop, catch there. But it all starts with that plunge. So next, I want to show you guys a stand-up face-off or standing neutral grip. So in this, I'm going to have my top head flipped out because I'm standing up. And I really want to be able to use my wrist to come down on that ball to either clamp or rake the ball out. So the stance is very similar, right? I wanna be angled towards the ball, get my left foot as close to the line as possible, come down very light on my hands, but I want my elbows inside my knees, right? You never want your elbows outside your knees when you're facing off. Elbows inside your knees, nice and line your hands. Then from here, you can do a couple things, right? You can plunge, just like how we went over knee down, or you can rake. Now raking is a great move to do standing up, because once that ball is dislodged, if you're going against someone who's knee down, I'm on my feet. I have an advantage to pick that ground ball up and get that ball up or down the floor. So I'm here and whether I'm going to rake, I like to rake with my bottom rail. So I like to turn my head backwards, get underneath my opponent's clamp and rake this ball out and then pick the ground ball up. So really important with everything you do in face-offs, right? Your technique is extremely important, but it's also about tenacity. It's also about competing against the guy going for the other ball. And also, it's a lot about ground balls. So make sure you're really working on your ground ball work. If you can't pick the ball up, you can't secure possession for your team, no matter how fast you are down at the X. 
That concludes episode seven of Lunchtime Lacrosse with your Philadelphia Wings. Today you learn from Trevor Baptiste on some of the tips and drills he uses at home to better himself at faceoffs. Trevor's a lifelong learner. He's made a name for himself at the college level. He's made a name for himself now at the pro level from box and field lacrosse. And he's made a name for himself on the international stage. This is why he's one of the best in the world. So I recommend that you continue to follow along with his tips and his drills at all. Now head on over to Instagram Live where you can ask him all your questions at 2 p.m.